Um, if I keep running off, it's because I'm doing dinner. Man's got to eat. Oh, he's getting caught up in the lens cap now. There we are. Right, so. Human Alliance skids. Um, firstly, while I can't get the doors to quite sit properly, it's the most unexciting vehicle in the world. However, he's the most... The, the transformation on this guy is just superb. I mean, just really good. If I turn him round, he's got skids on the back. The wheels sit nicely, they all spin well. Um, Alright, yeah, he's kibbly underneath, but he's not as kibbly as some of the others, and at least you can't see the head sticking through the bonnet underneath. Um, oh, he's still got the black bonnet, the paint's nice and shiny, it's just really, really good quality. Really good quality. And unlike my uh, Sideswipe, who I was transforming a minute ago, because I was going to do the video in a kind of this is this and that is that format, but um, I pulled his arm off. Because side, oh, if anyone can do it, but side swipe to go from robot mode back to car is just an absolute nightmare. I mean, he's just a pony. Um, but skids, a reasonably complicated uh, transformation. Certainly enough to make it worth the money and certainly enough to make it fun. But easy enough that A, kids could do it instead of having to be a bloody mathematician. And B, adults are still going to have fun as well because it's just complicated enough to make it interesting. So, um, shall we have a go? Right, first thing we're going to do is grab the back wheel, okay, and pull out, separate the feeties. And then if you grab the toesies there, see, so toesies, lift them out. So you grab the whole back section, pull it. Unhook it away from everything, give it some space, and then you can just... <laughs> this isn't going well from the start, is it? So let's take those, because it, all of these have got this black brace here, which kind of holds the front of the half of the car back to the back half of the car. So yeah, undo the doors, like that, which gives you some space on the back, and now you can wangle the legs free. Now as you can see, and I'll try and get it better on the other side shall I, you can just see through the window that that's the knee joints in there so it folds right up inside, okay? So all you do is just give it a good pull and then the knee straightens out. So that is pretty much back section done. And then what you do is, this is really clever and you, you would never get this in a million, oh dinner, <laughs> emergency avoided. Oh, I'm zooming now. So, yeah, you've got... It's almost a girl walk, but um, these bits here I couldn't work out, and I, I'm really into trying to change them without tinkering with the instructions too much. So if you put the toes halfway down, okay, and all you do is put your thumb on there, and that thing actually pops and goes all the way around to the inside, so he's got two halves to his leg, which is just genius. I mean, really clever. So do the same over there, you push that around, get it all the way around like that. And then you put your toesies back in place, that one and that one. And then you take the heels, which are the back bumper, lift and twist, lift and twist. Straighten that up. Uh, for the front end, again, grab the wheels. There's quite a lot of yanking on this bad boy. Um, so yeah, literally just grab the wheels and the inside sort of disconnect the hands in there because the hands tend to pop in and this bit will catch you off because that is attached to the hand because you've got the gun there and I thought you had to attach it all so yeah you just lift that out and it all becomes clear so then you do that get your black bit out of the way pull it and the whole arm section works on exactly the same hinge as Bumblebee the principle on the inside which is a very very good way of doing it so if it ain't broke don't fix it now on um, the deluxe version the back wheels become the shoulders whereas on this one the front wheels become the shoulders so you've got to push that right up so everything's out of the way move the doors back a little bit and then here can you see there's that crease there you just push that flat like that, and that becomes the tops of his shoulders. Mega, uh, pull the arms out, get everything, just kind of get everything out of the way for the moment, um, and then 
for the front bumper, you put your thumb underneath, can you see it's all sort of moving, so you pull that out, okay, you get that up, and the whole top end has come, come away in a lovely grid bit, bit of shell, so you lift that up and get it out of the way, open the doors. You're going to take this, okay, take the bend on the top, click it, lift it up, okay, and then spin it, just like side swipe, over the top, and then cleverly, where you've got the back bumper there, and you've got a hook there, you hook that onto that, which creates his backpack, like a big old ninja turtle. Um, and that's, you know, you're halfway there now, so what you do is, this bit here, which is very ratchet-esque, okay, you actually take that and fold that into the hip joint, uh, like that. So, yeah, you see? So that fit then, okay? Now the hips actually become the front with all the matching colour scheme and everything, okay? And now you've got the front section with the head. So you get the engine, what looks like the sort of engine block thing. You get that, okay? And you put your thumb on the front piece there and pull. And then that, that now brings your Autobot insignia and everything forward. And it also gives you a cubby hole and a peg. And where do pegs go? Pegs go in holes. So you do that. Push the chest onto the centre section. And we're pretty much there, look. See? Hello. Hello. Emma. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Oh, shut up. Racist. Racist character. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, just wings back. Now, you fold the steering wheel down. He does have a big old chain gun that comes out there. Do we like that? No, we don't. So, we'll put that away for the moment. And then it's just a case of arranging the arms again with everyone. Fold the seats down. Spin the seat around the other way. Same with that one. Fold the seat down. Spin the seat around the other way. This one's got, actually got a peg and a hole. So you've got a peg there and a hole there. So you just put that together. Peg and hole, which keeps it all nice and stiff. Put that like that. Put that like that. Turn it all around. And there's his putty underneath. Lift his fingers out. Put his thumb in place. And there you go. Skids. With his weapon. Weapon. Ah. Now, doors-wise, everyone seems to be complaining about the fact that the character in the movie didn't have the doors. And I know Optobotamus said that there is a way of moving everything out and then folding it back sort of inside itself. But I don't mind the doors. I've got no problem with the doors being out like that. Hang on, let me move the camera a little bit and let's readjust. So there he is, look. See, and I, I don't really have a problem with those doors being there. I think it looks nice. I think it complements the character. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the mud flap coming out now because I really wasn't into getting a mud flap. But Skids is just so good and is without doubt the number one transformation out of all of these. It's just great. Uh, the only other gift gadget that's left to go is if you push down on his little head there, go, hey Leo, hey man, that hurt. It's supposed to hurt. It's an air swooping. Um, I would like an ice cream twins one of these. You've got a double knee joint. Oh, get the arm out of the way, you'll be able to see. Double knee joint. The knee joints on these aren't very good because he's kind of fixed to kind of one position. But uh, it, I, I don't know, I haven't messed about with him too much because I've got a feeling he's going to fall over backwards. But um, they are, so you can twist that and twist that and you get some sort of posy posy with him and fire his gun. Hey, mother trucker, I'm going to whoop your ass. Um, but yeah, I mean, compared to this, that's brilliant. The alt mode's not glorious, and this is only as good as it is because the car is just magnificent. But if you look underneath again, there's a lot more, I think, unacceptable kibble compared to what there is on that. And Bumblebee, well, not, it's not as good. He's very, very good, but he's not as good. The only other thing that you've got is... Michaela, Michaela, boobies, <laughs> oh, 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 it's a plastic toy. Um, she's dressed in the clothes that she was in in the desert when Sam died. Um, oh, I don't know. 
Oh, Sam, you're dead. Oh, kiss of life. I love you, I love you. You said it first. Shut up! Ugh. Uh, Michaela, how unimpressive is that? It's rather, you know, her boobs are too small. She's wearing a white top, and it's like she's a faux Princess Leah in this, to be honest with you. Um, and she's got a big breathing hole out of the back of her head. Um, but she can fit on the hand, she can fit on the arm, and you can make her ride a massive dildo, but I, I'm not doing that, because it's not very good. Um, so that's it, that's my Human Alliance skids. I love my Human Alliance skids, it's very good. What do you think, skids? Shut up! Okay, fine, there's no need to be like that. Die! Oh, um, and on that note, I go now, bye-bye! <laughs>